Fines in the UK today. The furlough scheme, under which more than 11 million people in the UK were paid a percentage of their wages while coronavirus lockdowns meant they could not work, has come to an end. At the last count, 1.6 million people were still receiving support through the scheme. The British government says it will continue to support people if they need to look for work. The UK's Petrol Ret Retailers Association says there has been no improvement in petrol supplies at independent petrol stations in the last 24 hours. More than a quarter of its members are still out of fuel, although that is an improvement on earlier in the week. The motoring organisation, the AA, says it's now seeing signs that the pressure on supplies is starting to ease. Research suggests the percentage of people who get a face-to-face -face appointment with their local doctor in the UK has remained at the reduced levels of the COVID lockdowns. Only around 58% of patients were seen in person in August, compared to 80% before the pandemic. Doctors are blaming rising demand and shortages of staff. Our headlines today. Scotland Yard moves to regain public confidence as former Met Police officer Wayne Cousins begins a life sentence for the murder of Sarah Everard. Friday morning, let's have a look at some of today's papers. The front page is for you. Let's start with The Guardian. And as you'll see, many of the front pages dominated by one story this morning, the sentencing of Sarah Everard's killer, who was jailed for life a whole term yesterday. The Guardian calls it the shaming of the Met Police saying the force had admitted to missed opportunities before she was attacked. The Daily Mail focuses on calls for the head of Scotland Yard, Dame Cressida Dick, to resign. The paper says her career is now under serious threat. Let's have a look at the Times. They say the Met is struggling to restore its reputation as it's revealed Wayne Cousins exchange misogynistic material with colleagues on a WhatsApp group months before the attack. The Daily Express is focusing on demands for better protection of women. It says the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, wants to fundamentally change how the police approach crimes against women. Good morning. Higher energy bills for 15 million households as a new price cap kicks in. So how much more will you pay and how can you keep the costs down? I'll have all the details. Scotland's vaccine passport scheme begins, affecting anyone who wants to go to a nightclub or a big event like a football match. 